Okay guys, so in this video, we're gonna be going through an AQA A-level chemistry past paper question. This is from the MCQ, the multiple choice section of paper three. And this question here is about the melting points of period three elements. Okay, so which of the following sequences of period three elements is in the correct order of melting points? Okay, so as we can see here, all the statements A, B, C, and D all have this element is greater than this element, etc. Okay, so all of the sequences go from greatest to smallest. All right, that's the first point we have to consider. The next thing is your brain should automatically think whenever you see melting point or boiling point, intermolecular forces. Okay, this should be the first thing that pops into your head. So all we have to do here is look at the sequence of elements and think to ourselves, what intermolecular forces are present okay so then i'm going to draw out our elements as you would see in your periodic table starting with phosphorus and going all the way along to argon all right so phosphorus is going to be our first one in group five then you're going to have sulfur in group six then chlorine in group seven halogen and then argon in group eight noble gas okay so that's our four elements involved in this question and let's draw each of these out and think to ourselves: in what molecular format or structure do they exist and what intermolecular forces are present? And that will determine which has the highest melting point and which has the weakest melting point, allowing us to work out the sequence. So first off, we have phosphorus. Now, this exists as P4. I don't really know what you would refer to this as, where it would be tetraatomic, potentially. And then S, this exists as S8. And then you would have CO2, so that's diatomic. So I guess tetra, octa, and diatomic, I suppose. I'm not too sure, to be honest. And these would all be simple molecular structures, okay? So they're covalent, but they're simple molecular. And simple molecular structures all have van der Waals forces, okay? And then we have argon. Now, argon is a noble gas with eight valence electrons, so it will be monoatomic. There's no need for it to form covalent bonds with other atoms. It's simply monoatomic. Okay then, so let's look at our periodic table sequence again and think to ourselves, what is the weakest? Okay, first off is argon. Because it's monoatomic, less atoms in one molecule, therefore it's gonna be our weakest one. Next up is gonna be chlorine, it's diatomic. There's only two atoms in one molecule, so it's gonna be our third highest. Next up is going to be sulfur. This is actually our highest, and then phosphorus is gonna be our second highest. And this is because there's eight atoms of sulfur in one molecule of sulfur, and four atoms of phosphorus in one molecule of phosphorus. I hope that makes sense. So then, our answer here is not gonna be A, it's not gonna be B, it's not gonna be D, it's gonna be C, because sulfur is the strongest all the way along to argon, okay? And that is our final answer. So that's the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful. Like the video if you did. It really helps the channel grow. Subscribe for future content and comment any questions down below. Best of luck with your revision and upcoming exams, guys. Peace.